Hey, 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 Sagittarius. This is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your weekend reading from May 8th to the 10th. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, in North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Saggies. Before you leave, I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you are interested in a personal reading with me, the information is in the description box below. I am going to pull four cards here, Sadies, and then get a message from the Spirit for you. All right, Sagittarius, what's going on for my Sagis this weekend? What's going on for my Sagis? get a channel message in just a moment for you. I like that. Ah, five of wands, page of cups, two of wands, and the justice card. Okay. All right, let me get this message because I'm getting a lot of messages. Wait a minute. I'm hearing sacral chakra. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Set your sights on all that you desire, Sagittarius. They were showing me the weirdest thing. Wait a minute. Okay, I don't know why they're showing me this, but they're showing me a T-bone steak. I don't know if that means anything to you, but well, See, they showed me, maybe it has something to do with tea, because they showed me a T-bone steak, and then they showed me, if you ever seen that movie Grease, right? Um, they were the tea birds, I believe, so they were showing me, like, a portion of that movie there, like the jackets. See, I almost didn't say it, but then when I don't say it, the spirit, like doesn't give me anything else unless I say it. Take your time. Take your time in going towards your, your dream, Sagittarius, because it's not, you know, it's a journey. So it's not a race, right? It's, it's your journey. So don't be paying attention to everybody else's journey. Um, that wastes a lot of energy, really. So just pay attention to your own and do your thing. Okay. I like this. Now. Yeah, see, now this is competition. Oh. I feel like you're going to have a couple of people fighting for your attention. Sagittarius, you could be, well, there's an apology coming towards you, right? Or it could be a love offer or both. So Venus is going retrograde if it hasn't already. Or is it the 11th? I forget, but it's going retrograde, right? In Gemini. So this person is from the past. You may have to choose between two people, but karmic justice is being handed out right now. So let's see what up. So if you get good karma coming your way, it's a coming. Let's see. Ooh. All right. Well, there's a handful. 
We've got the Four of Cups. This is clarifying the Justice card. Now, that is a Twin Flame card of mine. We'll see if any... Um, well, so is this. The Lovers. So main twin, so main twin flame energy, right? The three of wands. So somebody could be at a distance. Five of pentacles. Okay. Somebody could be at a distance, Sagittarius. This person, I feel, is this person. Feeling left out in the cold, abandoned, right? This person may have been sneaky in the past. May have been... Liar. May have been a liar. May have been cheating. I feel you may have um, found something. King of Pentacles. Huh. I feel. You know what I feel, Sagittarius? There's the Two of Cups. Yep. King of Pentacles to the Two of Cups. Clarify this um, Seven of Swords. Hmm. Queen of Cups, the Hermit, and Two of Pentacles. Yeah. Be careful this person isn't juggling two people because I feel this is another person, the Queen of Cups, Cancer Scorpio, or a Pisces. And then you've got the Two of Pentacles. <clears throat> and with the Seven of Swords, this person um, is she. What's their intention? Let's see what their intention is for you. King of Swords. I don't like the King of Swords in this deck. This is Libra energy. <clears throat> Clarify this. Now, the King of Swords, I'm feeling this is harsh. It's communication. Be wary of their intention. What's their intention? Huh. What's their intention with Sagittarius? To manifest something with you. It could be this King of Swords. Well, let's see. Who is this King of Swords to Sagittarius? Let's see who this King of Swords is to you. Oh, well, it's somebody that you had a tower moment with. Sagittarius, yep. That is scorpionic energy. That's Mars energy. That is kablooey. Something went kaboom. So why are they coming back? Because they have regrets. They're sad. They have regrets about what happened. Something unexpected happened to them. They've been watching you. Something unexpected happened to them. You have three fives here. Five, five, five. What happened? King of Cups. Something emotional. What happened? Yeah, something they're needing strength to get over. I think karma, ooh, karma cut off to this person. Karma cut off to this person. Yep. I think somebody betrayed them and moved on. So, they were betrayed, lied to, etc., etc. Right? So, they get their karma. That's why that came out. Wow. Wow. The sun card. And the hangman. This is a past life soulmate. This is somebody who's done a lot of thinking. Queen of Swords. This is the attitude you're going to take when they come back. You're not going to know. You're like, hmm. You're going to feel that there's an ulterior motive. And I don't blame you. Is there an ulterior motive from this individual to Sagittarius? Seven of Wands. No, they want to fight for you. They feel that you're their destiny. Okay, this is their wheel of fate. 
And this is karma. This is the wheel coming back around. Interesting. Think back to 2012. Think back to 2012. What happened? Because most likely, the opposite is happening now. That's where karma is coming in. So, I have a feeling, you Sagittarius, this is something that happened in 2012. Now, I feel this person is getting it back. That's what I feel. Because of karma. Mm -hmm. Four of Wands. This is Twin Flame Energy. You got a couple of twins here. Twin Flame cards, anyway. Yeah, more than a couple. Justice, Two of Cups, Lovers, Four of Wands. Yeah. Heartbreak. Heartbreak all over this. Heartbreak. It's like they learn something, I feel. They're learning something through this process. But that's what karma is, right? To teach a lesson. Hmm. And the full moons in Scorpio tonight. Well, tonight's the 7th. You'll see this on the 8th, right? My birthday, Sagittarius. Um, yeah, so this is in your 12th house. Ooh, this is so fascinating. This is in your 12th house of um, secrets. Could be hidden. Is that the house of... It's the house of spirituality. It's ruled by Neptune, right? Ruled by Pisces, but the house of secrets and I think something's coming out yep they're angry not at you at this person at the ten of swords energy right well 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 all right so what's what's spirits advice oh you got the devil card here and the star card. That's crazy. Be careful what you wish for. That's exactly what that means. Be careful what you wish for. You're going to have to use your intuition on this one. And the other wish card. Be careful what you wish for. And that's how I'm going to end this. Bottom of the deck. Yep. You get a decision to make. All right, Sagittarius. I hope this resonates. I hope it makes sense. Please drop a like below. Share and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, then the information is in the description box below. You have yourself a great weekend, Saggies. And I'll talk to you next time.